Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be having a little chat about artist websites. If you're an artist and sell or intend to sell your pretty creations, you most likely have a website. So we're going to cover some essential things that your art product pages need to give your customers confidence and seriously boost art sales. But before we get started, I want to let you know about a super awesome free thing. Imagine if you had a best friend that hustled your art for you 24 seven, constantly ringing in those sales, even while you slept. Pretty epic, right? Well, guess what? That best friend is your website. Grab this incredible checklist filled with 25 quick fixes for your artist's website that boost your sales in a serious way. Amazing, right? Oh, and did I mention it's 100% free? Grab your copy in the link below. Alrighty, back to the video. Three essential things every art product page needs. So hitting that add to cart button on artwork can take some serious courage. So it's important as the artist to give your potential customer all the information that they could ever desire so they can take that leap confidently and add a new piece to their collection. So we're going to talk about three essential things that every art product page needs. Number one is the right photos. You want to make sure they know what they're buying. How many times have you almost purchased something online, but bailed at the last second because you weren't 100% confident that you'd be getting exactly what you thought? If you weren't putting up your hand, I know someone that would. I'm sure and sure, you can always return a product that just doesn't quite measure up, but who the heck has the time? You practically become a circus animal, animal with the amount of hoops you have to jump through. Same goes for your artwork. Why would you want to take the chance that someone wouldn't hit that big beautiful buy now button because they weren't totally confident that the painting would look the exact same in person? Exactly. So eliminate those potential doubts by showing your future customers exactly what they will be receiving. This includes physical descriptions, but more importantly, you need to include the right types of photos. Let's take a peek at them. The first one is the scan. So you should include a high quality scan of the artwork so they can clearly see the details of the piece. This can be done with an actual scanner or a camera. If you're using a camera, it's best to use a tripod for best results. The second type of photo is going to be the art in a setting whether this be on a wall or a shelf or what have you. The important feature is that it is included in a setting alongside other items. Frame it like it would be in your home. This allows them to truly see what the piece looks like, giving context and allowing them to get a grasp on the scale. Plus, they always look super cool. The third type of photo is gonna be details, 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 details. This includes both of the actual painting and the surface. Include a photo of the sides and the corners of the painting, the frame, the backside, hang fixtures, etc. Your potential customer should not be left wondering what it'll look like when it arrives, so be very clear so that they will have the confidence to add it to the cart. So the second thing that is going to be an essential component of an art product page is going to be to tell the story. So you had a reason for creating what you did, so share that reason. Grab the readers with a punchy first line and then tell the tale of the painting. Sure, it's obvious that you're selling a pretty thing, but there's so much more to it than that. Dig deep, give the art voice it wishes that it had. Share the meaning behind it, the driving force. Pick out the emotional source and speak it loud and clear. And number three, be clear on what the benefits are. So let's get something out of the way here. As an artist selling their work, it is your job to show the audience that they need your artwork. There are so many benefits to owning art, so be clear about what the benefits are. Is your art an investment that'll yield a return in the future? Will it be a source of status, and will it make all their friends or frenemies turn green with envy? Will it elevate their personal space? Remind them of something important? Dig deep and ask yourself exactly how someone will benefit from owning your work. Each piece is unique and delivers a different vibe, so take a moment to extract this essence. Tell your audience how they will benefit, and you'll be surprised at how well they respond. So go on, be free, amp up those product pages, and watch the sweet, sweet sales roll in. 
And don't forget to grab that free artist website checklist and give your website the facelift it deserves and it'll reward you by hustling your art day and night. Get that bubble wrap ready, income and sales. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any art marketing tips that you wanna hear about, leave a comment down below and you might just see it featured in the next video. Stay magical friends.